So we're going to go to our next, which is the oldest film on our review list right now, which is West Side Story, the remake, you know, uh, directed by Steven the Spielberg. Um, I'm going to say something. I saw this theatrically, first of all, you know, um, not by choice. It was just, hey, it's out. Why not check it out? Because I am not a huge fan of the original West Side Story. I respect it, but I can't say it's my idea of a good time. <laughs> so having said that, I went into this film and I absolutely loved it, surprisingly. You know, I was like, this is so much better than the original. Maybe it's because a little bit more of a modern take. Maybe it's because like I can, it feels like the song and dance sequences, the, while they're still amazing and obviously theatrical, but you, I felt like here it didn't make it seem like, oh, all of these people are professional dancers. It didn't seem effortless. It looked like they put in the work and were really enjoying themselves while doing it. Plus, I felt like most of the actors gave really strong performances. I thought, of course, Ariana DeBose stole the movie in her yeah. role. I thought Mike Fate playing, you know, uh, the uh, Irish gang leader who is the best friend of Ansel Egor's character. I thought he gave an equally great performance. I even thought David Alvarez uh, as uh, Ariana DeBose's uh, boyfriend was really strong in his role. Unfortunately, when we get to the leads, and yeah. Ansel Egor is passable. You know, it's like he really had, uh, he's the lead, but you really, he doesn't bring anything to the role except for a weird hairstyle. And Rachel Ziegler is good in her role. The problem is, compared standing next to any of the other actors, she looks all of 14. You know, <laughs> and she's supposed to be kind of a lit. I know she's supposed to be a teenager, but she should at least look a little more adult. This is the only time where I'm like, I know she's a teenager, but couldn't we find somebody who looks older to play the role? So, especially when, you know, even though there's no love scene, but there's an implied uh, scene where, you know, they wake up in bed next to each other. It's like, ooh, did we step into Red Rocket territory again? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But other than that, I think, I thought everything was great about I like the big production feeling of the film even though it doesn't feel as much on you know a sound set um I even liked Corey Stahl's you know minor character as the police captain I guess he's Officer Krupski even though they don't sing that song <laughs> uh -huh. um you know I like that they had kind of a tomboy transgender character in the background who plays a pivotal role um I don't remember the name of the character who uh, has the gun, who's hunting for Tony through the third act. I just felt like that was a nerd stereotype <laughs> with that character. But you know what? I haven't felt this happy and satisfied by a Steven Spielberg movie in a long time. So my hat is off to Steven Spielberg with this movie because this is the movie where he shows his natural born filmmaking instincts. And you can see he has a passion more for this than let's say that Tom Hanks movie about the spies and the lawyers. Oh, yeah. You know, it, I felt his heart was in this a lot more than it's been in a films for a long time. This was his Scorsese moment. <laughs> so that is how I felt about the remake of West Side Story. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> I'll get this out of the way real quick before I get into my review, but I'm still very pissed off that they took out my friend Reggie L. Barnes dialogue scene as one of the detectives interrogating the gang members. So I'll just put it there. I'll stop oh, right gosh. there because he did have some silent parts in there, but they, they did him dirty. So I liked it. I liked the cinematography. It had that sort of poppiness like the original did with the colors mm -hmm. and the overall vibe of New York in that period. Anna DeBose, she stole the show and I predicted she was going to win the Oscar. She did so. She's definitely the best thing about this picture. The music is hot. The dance choreography is top notch. In a lot of ways, like you say, it's a far superior film to the original, which, you know, was a different time and stunt casting and things like that. Uh, but 
I agree, the leads are the issue of this picture. Rachel Ziegler not only looks too young, but every time I look at her, I'm reminded of Brooke Adams from The Dead Zone and The Invasion of Body Snatchers. She looks like the splitting image of her. And Mr. Igor, you know, he, like you said, he's passable. He's passable for Tony. At times, I thought he was like a young Liam Neeson in certain angles. It just was like the weirdest thing. Um, so he's okay, but he's not the best thing about this picture. He kind of brings it down personally. And you didn't mention Rita Moreno in the no. film, but she also was a delight to see at her age, yeah. still being able to deliver the emotion and the heart of the picture and kind of creating that bridge between the original and this remake. So I think overall, it, it's a wonderful film. You know, yeah, it didn't do so hot box office wise, but if you put that aside, yes, Steven Spielberg's passion is all through it from start to finish. And there is an ending. There's not multiple endings. It's just like <laughs> the original play. And yeah, you know, it, it's like, this is what he's been born to do, to do this type of story. And given like the very divisive climate that we're in, it's the perfect movie to do at this time. So yeah, I I feel it's one of his better movies in over a decade, I would say. Mm. Yeah, um, again, I did, I'm sorry I left out Rita Moreno, which is, I think they even wrote an original song, which is not in the original, just for her. Yes, for they did. Movie, you know, so yeah. And I mean, she did well, especially in the scene where Ariana DeBose is trying to deliver a message and then she's almost like gang raped. And, you know, uh, she's yelling at them, but it, she's pointing out she should be the one who should be the most ashamed of herself considering she's supposed to be on, you know, more of the Puerto Rican side and she more serves the whites. So I thought, wow, you know, even though West Side Story was supposed to be like an interracial story back when it was made, that statement right there was the thing that really made the film come home more yeah. in a modern audience. So I really felt like that was a very strong uh, statement to make. And, you know, like I said, Steven Spielberg, you know, my respect and hats off to you because I'm like, like you said, this is probably one of the best films he's made in the last 10 years. And, you know, this is one of the films that I would say if you well, I mean, he's given he's already been given lifetime achievement awards, but this would definitely be part of you know that reel, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm like, you did something that many people have tried, but you actually succeeded at. You made a film better than the original, you know. So I, you know, I give him the utmost respect for that. 